Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and welcome back to the Aquatic Dome. Yeah, we are getting into the closing states of this build. However, uh, we are actually starting one last habitat. But actually it's not a habitat, what you can tell from the title. It is the restaurant, which will be part of the habitat. It's it's going to be something interesting. Um, I call it the hippo grill, but even though it's not because you grill the hippos, but it's actually because you get food next to the hippo habitat. And it's going to be interesting. Um, this over here will be like a little garden area. Um, I'm going to explain you a little bit more in the real time part why I built this garden. It's going to be interesting um, since I have some challenges uh, when it comes to the guest movement in this uh, very specific thing over here. Um, it's, it's actually more tricky than you would actually believe but um, yeah so I, I really have to make sure that the people go this direction I am uh, I'm asking them so to say to go it's really really tricky and this has to be done in in the future I don't know where exactly I'll do this but we'll have to see anyhow so now we are getting to the restaurant the restaurant is going to be very interesting since I wanted to build it to um, stories high but then again only one visible story now Obviously, it's it's a bit of a problem because you have to work a lot with the terrain and it's, you know, next to the path you always have a tiny bit of issues. Um, it's still very easy to fix. You will see in a real-time part how I how I approach that. Um, also, I'm very happy with the with the style of it, but the thing is, today's episode is, is something I really didn't want to do anymore, but this time it just wasn't possible uh, in a different way. So normally I want to finish my builds and then, you know, as I said in, in yesterday's Yosemite episode, I really want to make sure that there is something finished at the end of the episode. But today it just didn't work out because the struggle was real. I had so many issues is not the right word, but it, it was just like a struggle to get the layout right, to get it uh, set up in a way that I'm very satisfied with it, where the, the shops are and everything like that. You will see um, that I'm changing this layout quite a few times in, in the time lapse here. I really don't know why exactly um, I always force myself into complicated builds like that. Um, it would have been easier to just build this uh, on top, but yeah, no, I didn't want to. I want to embed that in the story and making making sure that this all looks uh, really like, um, yeah, everything natural, everything suiting in here. But uh, at, the, at the end of the day, um, when you're done, it always is worth the struggle. So I, uh, I'm i not feeling too bad about it. But yeah, so you can tell that I'm um, making sure that the foundation of this building is really working out. And since I did this on a live stream again, here's another shameless plug. If, if you want to see me live, make sure to check out my uh, Twitch channel. It's in the description down below. You can check over there. And I'm mostly streaming on Wednesdays and Mondays. Um, at the moment, I'm a little bit uh, trying out with my schedule if I can merge it in somewhere else because I want to stream longer, uh, maybe less in a week, but then longer. Um, I will have to see how that works out, but I'm, I'm planning to do it even more because I just love the direct interaction and just that you guys can participate and so you have participated uh, in the way that you decided we are going to take the real hippo, like I mean both hippos in the game are real hippos, but we are taking the big hippo, um, the hippopotamus. Uh, not the pygmy hippo. Now, why? Um, I guess people prefer it, I don't know. Um, but I have to say I'm really happy about the decision. It has been my favorite, not because I like it more than the smaller one, but I just think for these underwater viewings, uh, there's just more to see. You can just see a little bit more uh, when you look into this and you will see the animals. And this, this time we will actually put a lot more emphasis on the underwater viewing and on the underwater situation in general. It uh, should really be something uh, nice looking and really making sure that the animals walk in there and you have a nice, wonderful view into them. Um, I really also plan to make something like kind of a little shade above it uh, so that below in the water, um, it seems like um, the animals are actually having some, some room to enjoy and chill. And we also have obviously a one side wall, which I think would be double as thick as normally because if the guests are seated in the restaurant uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated but yeah you can see now um, my 
most of the time went into making this little roof piece over here uh, simply because I wanted to make sure that this, you know, this, this catches the attention. I want to keep this building rather simple while having a lot of details in it, in like smaller details, so that you can really take a glimpse of them and see these smaller details. But um, I will show you in the real time part. So today I'm a little bit short on time. I will tell you why in the real time part. But now I'm jumping over and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse, which is another five ish minutes over here. So uh, yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy these couple of minutes. And I will talk to you in the real time part. So in case you want to jump there, there is this little jump mark in, in, in the video as always. So you can jump over or just have a look at the time lapse. So talk to you in a bit.
So everyone, we are in the real time part and you can see our penguins over here, look at them, uh, having a good time. But uh, what's really important is this is the Hippo in Hippo Grill, I, I, you know, when I was building that I haven't really decided about uh, how it should look but uh, and, and should be named so in case you have a better idea also drop it down in the description um so you can see this is the location of it and it will be rather interesting to see how we embed that so most of all i wanted to uh, make sure that it doesn't take away anything from the penguin habitat the star of the show should be this habitat so when you're over here this is very important that you see this habitat and all is fine you go around you want to have a look at that and if you go here the building emerges we will have like a little garden over here um, maybe a tiny viewing gallery to the hippos on this side but most of the viewing should actually work in the restaurant so then you go around here this will be filled in by a tiny little um, connection of the staff building so what I will do is I will take this building over here again inside and just drag that out a little bit further to the outside so that this is like an actual connection here um, making sure that this is a bit better hidden away and then we go around this corner making something nice in the middle here not really sure what exactly it will be and then i will go and build this restaurant so this is kind of the um uh, kind of reception you go in you just you know you can have your stuff and then you'll brought into this restaurant by grabbing a seat This is like the buffet area where you can grab your stuff And then if you go down there's obviously the toilets on the left hand side and you go here And this is like the big dining area We have some more shops over here just to make the people happy and yeah This is how it looks and that will be all underwater This will be all underwater and what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use a little bit of a trick here um, So we are going to have so first of all um, the water you can see water level wise this works just fine so this is where the water goes um, and then down here you can see it's kind of murky the water is kind of murky um, I just you know uh, at this point uh, I just saw the ladies tutorial going out there are some tricks to make the water appear less murky I couldn't use the terrain trick over here so what I'm going to use is a little bit of a difference um, by putting some more uh, interesting stuff in the water like you know rocks and so on and then I'm just hoping that the hippo is uh, kind of moving through here so you will you will actually have like a nice little back wall here and then I'm going to put in like a lot of plants and so on so that this will be the nice area you can look at from being actually dining down here like uh, sitting here and having a dining um, area making the ceiling look nice as well um, and yeah, just in general, I think this is a great idea for the habitat. And then I'm, I'm going to also make sure that we have another viewing um, that comes from over here to not take too much away from there. And then you can basically see um, this is then merging into the crocodile habitat and uh, at the very end to the otter habitat as well. And this is the little pathway I was talking about. Um, this will go through a little garden, making sure that this is a bit more interesting so that the guests actually go in here first because that that's the choice uh, that they have to take and then um, take the whole tour of the dome but yeah so this is it um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and now if you guys are curious to know how it is to run a YouTube channel next to a full-time job and you want to hear my opinion and the one of Paul Slay I highly recommend to jump over to my new podcast channel the link is in the description and I will also put like a link uh, into the video to the top right um, the new video will go online today I'm not sure exactly when um, but in the you know it will be in the course of the next couple hours or it might even be online already um, so check that out it was a lovely talk I really would love to hear your opinion on that um, but other than that please let me know what you would call the hippo restaurant as well and hopefully you like today's episode despite the fact it's not really ready but um, I hope you can actually see my process a bit better of working um, maybe that's also interesting for you so thank you so much for your attention thank you so much for your views and so on and for the support uh, I really hope you guys stay safe and I talk to you in the next one goodbye